Sir, have you heard about Quasar? We'll get to this new composable project as well as another Spirit Key giveaway soon. But first, a big oof. In yesterday's episode, I claimed the average contribution to the Mangata loan was 140 KSM, when in fact the average was roughly around 14. This marks the second time in this series history where I made a colossal division error around the zero, and I want to seriously thank Crane from WAG Media for pointing it out. He has written an epic article about the project, even calculating their crowd loan rewards as the best so far. Check out the article below if you want to see his reasoning. And if you didn't make the 50 minute window the crowd loan was live, the team is vowing that no Mangatarian will be left behind, with many opportunities to get in early coming up to those who stay glued to their discord. So just how did they pull off the fastest cap ever? Well, according to Seppi, They built it firstly uh, under the radar. Then they had on board uh, visionaries like uh, Peter Chris and uh, Alice and Bob. Of course, they gave their token some kind of utility and they had a long-term vision of the project. Lastly, they described their crowd loan in a simple way with the location cap. You can check out his thread below for the full list, which Mangata thought sums it up better than anything else. Meanwhile, Akala announcing another integration into their EVM Plus, this one with RAND, a mobile-focused yield aggregator. Not sure if these integrations announced over the past couple weeks will first be deployed on Karua, though a slight upgrade to that chain with Remark now available to cover gas fees. Over on the dot board, Interlay gliding into the 11th slot on Polkadot, completely unchallenged in this auction with only hours remaining, and Equilibrium is not taking any chances on the final slot of this batch. They've released yet another bonus scheme where new contributors get 15%, returning get 30, and you can stack another 5 by completing these tasks and another 7 by using the link on the cheat sheet. And what is Quasar? Well, Quasar is actually a blockchain on Cosmos, an application-specific blockchain aiming to solve issues of liquidity fragmentation across that network and capture increasing retail interest in the internet of blockchains. Users will be able to deposit directly into vault strategies or bond tokens for discounted QSR, which will yield revenue from the vault strategies. This will all be connected via the Centauri Tari Bridge to Picasso and the broader composable vision allowing a unification of yield generation between the two networks. We can see in the diagram from this ecosystem overview how Cosmos is just one network where they're attempting to break down liquidity barriers. They also have Mosaic with its tentacles in multiple EVM layers and applications. They've recently announced the integration of Connext, another cross-chain layer interoperability protocol, allowing another avenue for Mosaic to balance its liquidity in their quest for ASAP availability. We've also gotten some introductions to other members of the team, including Carl Kubat, their CTO. He wrote a joint article with Brainjar about their DeFi primitives, and more on non-contributors to bribe Governor C and Cleisthenes. They're sharing their own visions for the product in this article, also linked below. In Polkadot news, it appears that FC Barcelona is rejecting crypto sponsor offers, clearly intimidated by my call a few weeks ago to tokenize every last inch of FCB, and a proposed auction schedule for Polkadot is working through the council, looking like 28 auctions over the next 12 months, and Gavin Wood says version 3 of the XEM will support NFTs, which is just what Donnie needed to hear. He's currently holding a $10,000 logo competition for the Battle of Nova. Fallow World has released the artwork for their Pandroid race, and Birdo is here to give us an update on Talisman and a chance to win 10 more Spirit Keys. So this week we have released our final version of the alpha before we submit it to the gods at Google for their review and it will turn into our public beta release. So the build that the Spirit Planner testing, uh, you know, today, tomorrow, the next day, that will be 
essentially what the public are able to download next week on the 3rd of the 3rd when we go live. Very exciting. Last week, if anyone was listening, we introduced the ability to see testnet tokens. And we, you know, based on some feedback, we added the ability to show and hide them because some people don't care. So you can turn them off if you don't want to see them. We've got a really big update to uh, our web app for NFTs. Soon, you'll be able to view your NFTs in the portfolio page. And we've also made a dedicated page uh, so you can view all of your NFTs. So if you have more than four, <laughs> as most people seem to, based on that research we did a couple of weeks back, we've made a dedicated page so you can view them all there very nice and easy. It's a very simple proof of concept just using Remark uh, version 1 NFTs. But, you know, we'd love, love to get some feedback and love to see what other people are interested in. We're talking about adding in functionality to send NFTs, which is pretty high on the list. And also looking at some other data we can show around floor pricing and listing pricing and all that other stuff as well. And you can expect that coming early next week, next couple of days. We're going to kick off the extension launch, public launch, by a bit of a crowdcast, a bit of a show and tell. We have a very exciting product video that we've been making over the last couple of months. Do a bit of a demo and kind of talk about Talisman and some of the exciting things we've got planned coming up as well. If anyone wants a spirit key, we've got 10 more to give away. Uh, if you can tag the Parachain team on Twitter that you would love to use Talisman on, we'd love to see which teams are your favorite, see, uh, see which projects you're most interested in. So show them some love and tag them on Jay's tweet. Just today, a star was the first application to integrate the Talisman extension. Any other projects you'd like to see, simply tag them in the tweet. I'll link in the pinned comment below. Finally, I know I've said this before, but for real this time, Dakota Barnett is in the studio tomorrow to answer our questions about Invarch. Sir, I hope we can see you there, and have a great night, everybody.